Oh, this is easy, and I have this little script here, and we're going to be able to try it, and it will be below the video. This is kind of like a beta version. This is will allow you to convert 2D into 3D. Actually, what it'll do is you'll start with some type of image over here on the left. You can see where my cursor's at, waving around. This is the 2D image. And it'll be used as mass. Then the next step, it'll come into the uh, 3D here. And the next step over here, it'll make it uh, 3D and symmetrical. And after I Z-remeshed it at the end here, this is what it looks like. So let's get started and I'll show you how to work this. Okay, I'm going to open up Lightbox here and I have this uh, script in the project folder here and I'll show you how to um, install this here towards the end of the video. But uh, it'll come with this uh, 2D to 3D ZSE file here and you'll be putting that in there along with this setup ZBrush project. So let's go ahead and click this right here. Don't appear nothing happened if we open up the tutorial view window down here. Now we have this as in, um, buttons down here. Alright, first thing that we want to do is we want to use the setup button. So we're going to press setup here. We give it a second and it's ready. This is actually a plane in 3D, so we do not want to turn this or anything. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and let's go ahead and import a alpha. I have a chess piece here. And we'll press open. And I'm going to mask this on this uh, plane here. Um, as you can see, it's over here. But if I hold the control key down, it disappears. So we're going to keep the control key held down. That way, when I select it, it'll always be there. I've been messing with it earlier, so you'll see a bunch of different methods in here anyway. So I'll click here. And then we can change it to the stroke to rec. And let's make this square here. Then we'll drag out like this. Let me let me control Z that. I want to do the stroke center. This one be the square. That way I can make it tall or short, whatever I want. So you can go like this. All right, because uh, I want to make it look like a pawn rather than I think this is the bishop when it's longer. Um, the basically what we want to do is okay I'm gonna get where I wanted at on the space bar here and I'm gonna drag it out I'm trying to make this very big on this plane it's very important it'll make a whole lot better you don't want it real small like this because um, it won't look as good when it's done so we want to kind of fill this up pretty good and we'll get something like this and let go so the next step is we're gonna press start here so we're gonna press start give it a second all right now it's done so this image here is now this new 3d image here all right now I want to uh, make this symmetrical I am going to press the number one the one has to do with the spacing so I'm gonna press one and give it a second now it's gonna Z remesh this wise this doing this so it might take just a little bit of time and here it goes. Not much longer, so the reason why it's even remesses it is to help speed it up. Now we have it and it is now 3D. Take a look at it right here. Now we have a 3D image. All right, my uh, next my next step is if I turn on the polyframes, and I want to clean it up and I want to see remesh this. Okay, now you can use this button or use the other one over here under the uh, geometry, but I got different settings in here and it might be best to use this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this one here, and this will take a, a while because this is gonna Z remesh it twice because sometimes it helps relax the mesh and gets some of the artifacts that it will produce and actually what it does it Z remeshes it twice so we'll go ahead and let that finish up much longer you can see it we're a little over 1 million uh, 
polygons right here. And it's right 102. And that's going to Z remesh it again. And we're at 10,000. Now we turn on the polyframes here. And you can see it's cleaned up. And we went from that image. Now we have symmetrical and it is 3D. Alright, I'll go on to the next step. Okay, I had paused the video and uh, we're going to go on the next step. Uh, we're going to go on the steps of 1, 5, and 10 over here. These are basically the same as these buttons over here. Um, with these set of buttons over here is what we want to use is anything that might be imported or anything that we might bring in from, let's say, the light box, like the dog. If I was over here to press number 1, it probably is not going to work very well. If I press one over here, it'll work just fine. Well, actually, I'll just give you a demonstration. Um, these are just one through ten over here, basically designed for this, you know, for your alphas over here. So if I press this here, this is what's going to happen. Not what I want, okay? Um, that's why you want to move over to these sets of buttons, these three sets of buttons over here, one, five, and ten. So if I press ten. You can see that it spaces like that. Use the undos up here for five. And it does it like that. And then if I go to one, it's going to make it even tighter. Well, let me give you a little demonstration of what you can do. Like I said, I did pause the video, so if you see the thing that got moved around, it's because I paused it. So let's go to Subtools here and let's uh, duplicate that. We've got two dollars here. And let's go to deformation. Now, if I press this, you remember the tail was going around. So if I press 10 here, tail is going around. Let's go solo so we can just see what's going on. Well, I want the head to go around. So what we'll do is we'll mirror that. Take off the X on this one. And we'll go Z. When I mirror this with the button, you'll see the dog flip on the other side. So if I press 10, then we get all the heads. Go back up here, press undo all the way back. Then we can do number 5 with whatever we like. And as you can see, now when I went back up there to do the undos, I did not switch the mirror here. So for that to happen, we need to make sure that we mirror that. And we get something like that. Uh, another thing that you can do, let's mirror that. You can mix, mix match these buttons. Um, if I press 10 here, all right, and we get like that. Then I can go over here and press 5. Uh, then we get something like this here. We get more heads. Uh, you got to watch out, these undos get pretty high, so be very careful about that. And actually, you can see I went from 10 to 5. Basically, all I really need to do was go to 5. So, let's try that again. We'll get some more heads like this. Then I'm going to turn off solo. I'm going to alt-click the leg on the dog here. And I'm going to go ahead and just change this material real quick. And we're going to click the one here. And it's going to take it a while to get around here, so I may pause the video. And it's, well, I'll let you take a look at it so we can kind of see what's going here. And I will pause the video to this finishes it up then it's done you'll get something like this all right you can kind of think of that as kind of like a dog bowl some kind of Egyptian dog bowl looks kind of cool so remember these 
three buttons, one, five, and ten are for something to bring in. Um, these three over here on the left are for the elephants. All right, I'll go into the next step. All right, in this next step, I imported this uh, vector graphic here. Um, they were free. I find the link, I'll post it. Um, these were free images. Uh, as you can see, I got the setup plane here. Uh, it's already set to four and that's good because it kind of makes it kind of smooth and rounded but I want to help maintain the shape um, What you'll need to do is you need to come over here and change the four back up to five here And when you drag out like this And we'll press start it'll help maintain its shape at four. It'll be a lot smoother. So we'll keep it at five and this is kind of what I want Give me a second then we get it like this. Now, what we uh, don't want to do since this is is press the Z measure over here because what this Z measure does, it actually will make it symmetrical. So it'll mirror it on the other side. So if you want to go ahead and Z remesh this, you will need to actually go over to the geometry and manually Z remesh it yourself. Okay, I'm going to do another one here, and uh, like I said, I do pause the video, so if you see anything changes, that's because of pause the video. Uh, when, you, when you are masking, you want to move the slider here, make your choice first. You don't want to mask, then move the slider, so I need to make my choice first. Do I want to stay at 4 or what? So, we're gonna, I want to go at 5. Hold the control key down, and we're going to drag out, and we want to make it big. Um, you don't have to be precise in the middle, but you know it Helps to make it quite large and you can see a lot better when it's in the middle rather than up in the corner or something like that But it doesn't have to be perfect and it will still work Give it a second when It's done and you'll get something like that This part here, I'll show where to place the files at. It's up to you where you, what you want to do with them, but uh, I'll show you how I did it. Um, this is actually in the zip file here, and we'll be selecting the ZPR file right here. This is a setup ZPR project file. Then control click this one here. And then what we're going to do is you'll right click this one here and copy, and we'll open up. The uh, Picologic ZBrush 4R7, and it's going to be in the presets. So that oh, sorry, not preset, but the projects. It'll be the project folder here. Double click in here. Now it's already in here. You can see right here and right here. If I was right to click and paste, it'll tell me that I'm going to have to overwrite these. But I'll just do it anyway. And that's where these files will be located. Now every time that you open up a light box, you'll see it in the projects here, and we'll say 2D to 3D. Uh, the setup uh, file is over here, we won't really need to pay attention to that. And every time I click this right here, double click it, then these buttons here will appear, and I can do whatever I want. And like I said, this is just beta, I think everything's working, there might be a slight Law somewhere I might end up fixing it so stay tuned if there's any problems uh, and I'll see if I can fix anything but anyway thank you very much